Cause there's music in the air and lots of love in every way. So give me the night. All right, turn it. George Benson pode ter nos pedido à noite, mas o que conseguiu foi uma carreira de mais de seis décadas, uns 60 álbuns e 10 Grammys no currículo. E ele se apresentou no Samsung Blues Festival e bateu um papo com o Espaço Mix. I started going to jam sessions when I was about 17 years old. Uh, and that was my first real contact. I mean, I was surrounded by jazz musicians, but there were no, I didn't play on jazz gigs myself. I was playing R&B gigs, and my first recordings were R&B songs when I was 10 years old. Uh, but the guitar started getting very popular, and people started calling me to, to play the guitar. I had decent ears. If I heard a song once or twice, I could play it, depending on how sophisticated it was. Once I started getting in, into that, I realized that it helped not only my playing, but my singing too. Because now I can understand why the songs, how they were constructed, and what I could do to beef it up. Like on Broadway. I mean, I was all over the place on that song, and I didn't realize it until I heard it, the playback. I said, man, where am I going with this, you know? And I heard it, and I said, at the end of the playback, I said, Phew. deixar de falar de Dinorá Dinorá, música de Ivan Lins que gravou nos anos 80. The song was beautifully constructed. Uh, Ivan Lins is one of my favorite writers for a lot of reasons. He's a romanticist. I like romantic songs. My biggest records are the romantic ones. And uh, uh, I envy some of the melodies he comes up with. I wish he just write for me, <laughs> you know. Girl from Ipanema, which was just so a happy song, but who would ever imagine that it would go straight to the top of the world like that and deserve it so? Because there's nobody like a Carlos Jobim. He's just incredible. I listen to a little bit of everything today, it's true, because now that it's all hanging out now. Years ago, it was against the law to do that. You can't be afraid to try something new. Uh, and I think that's one of my biggest allies or my biggest assets that I try things. Because I said to myself, you can always throw the tape out. If it doesn't sound good, throw it out. <laughs> you know? But they hardly ever throw anything out that we record. We don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. 